Well, I'd only seen pictures of Pittsburgh back in the day, uh, in the Rust Belt days, you know, and those things. And it's really hard to believe that you're looking at the same city. You know, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic rejuvenation. Um, it doesn't look as if it had that history at all. Yeah, the, the bridges are amazing. The, the access along the trails for the river, uh, especially coming from San Antonio, that's something that San Antonio is now trying to replicate it, these long, long trails for access. Yeah, this is, this is amazing. We have 24 miles of riverfront trail here along the Ohio, the Mon, and the Allegheny. So people can ride their bikes, they can walk, they can take their dogs for walks, and um, it's organized by the Friends of the Riverfront, so they, they maintain the Three Rivers Heritage Trail. Well, I'll tell you, from what I understand that point used to be, giant brownfield, to what it is now, uh, what a transformation. And how appropriate to use water as your symbol, you know, of, of art and beauty, because that's what it is. Last time I visited Pittsburgh, I came from the north, I believe that's north. Uh, this time we flew in from the airport, so I actually got to experience coming out of the tunnel uh, with the fountain going, and it was pretty arresting. I have to say, it was, you know, you come out and the sun is shining on the buildings and the fountain's going, and it's, it's, uh, it's quite a sight. But what struck me coming here is that there's no place uh, that can't turn itself around and become beautiful. It's clear that people were enjoying the, the waterfront and you know, people from all walks of life were down here and I really appreciated that. Um, I feel like you know, the other cities you don't see quite that convergence of people um, in your natural spaces in that way and so I was really impressed by what that created. Well first of all, it's a great environment to work in when you've got partners like the Allegheny Conference, you've got the Water Economy Network, you've got industry here, all working together in the same way. We've got a project to build a broadband wireless waterway along the inland waterways. And what we have found is when you build this network, it's not just the transportation people that benefit, but you've got environmental interests, academic interests, and corporate interests like the Waterway Economy Network, all of which that see some advantages. If you just look around us where we're standing right now, you'll see that we're surrounded by water. Um, and because of that, we have the perfect nexus for business that's associated to water. And uh, if you're given that and you think of the, the, the need for clean water and the future of water, there's job opportunities like crazy in, in the Pittsburgh region. And we're only going to get there if we have an alliance between businesses that are associated with water, the universities who are out there looking for innovative ways to create new business for taking care of our water assets, and the common person looking for jobs. If we can combine all that in one place, create those innovations, take industry and combine it with that, we've got a great water energy ne nexus right here in Pittsburgh.